Welcome. I'm Monique Thornock. I'm one of the design managers here at Furniture Fair, and I wanted to go into accessories with you. So how do you take your brand new furniture that you just got and make it into a room? It's all about the accessories, and that's what we're going to cover today. So if you're one of those people who watch tons of HGTV shows, you'll notice that they bring in the big furniture, but then they don't stop there. To create the look that they're trying to do, they have to accessorize. Accessories meaning area rugs, lamps, clocks, tabletop pieces, little accent furniture pieces, everything that makes a room a room. And the biggest thing is it's got to have your personality. That's the most important thing. What I'm going to be covering today is what is the world of accessories? What does it mean to design your room? And then how do you go about doing it? How do you, how do you find those right pieces that are going to be in your character and your flavor and make your room wonderful? And most importantly, why? Why are accessories so important to a home and to the room that you're trying to create? What are accessories? And no, they aren't just your mother's home wreath that was sitting in the door forever and ever. What accessories are, are things like area rugs that bring life to the floor and shows off your hardwood floors that you just got. They can be accent pieces of furniture, like the really small, great little table that maybe has a copper top in the corner. That's an accessory, that's an accent piece. Wall art is really important. It can either be bold and daring, or it can be serene and peaceful. Then you also have your lamps. Lamps have a couple different functions. Either they're just for ambiance and the way that you want the room to look, or they're functional, meaning I need a really good lamp by my recliner so that I can read. Most people have never thought of a fireplace as being an accessory. Well, right now, there's quite a few manufacturers that are making these wonderful TV consoles that actually have fireplace inserts. So it's a dual purpose and accessories can have that dual purpose. So you also have clocks, whether they're wall clocks or mantle clocks. Mirrors are a great accessory because if you place your mirror correctly, it's gonna make your room feel larger. You just wanna make sure that it's reflecting something that looks good. You also have your plants and foliage. In the 80s and 90s, silks were really, really big. But right now, those small succulents that you can pick up that are easy to maintain, they make a great table topper. Another accessory that falls into that home design are those little things that maybe it's your grandmother's sewing machine and what are you gonna do with it? How can I play this into my room? It could be your family art. You know, your family photos of your kids and you want to display them prominently. It may be an antique rocking chair that you found to put in the corner. It's really not for seating, but it's to fill up that space. And that's what accessories are all about. So accessories have a very broad term. It's not just the itty bitty little things. It's the things that make the room your room. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I don't mean for you to go and get one of each of these categories. That's not what we're covering. The three main things that I like to do in my own home is to make sure I have a great area rug because it really does define the conversation area and gives some liveliness to my floors. The next one is wall art. Wall art is so important. When you walk into a room and there's blank walls or worse, you have a little tiny piece of art over a really big sofa, you've lost the character of the room. You really need to pick some art that you've fallen in love with and that will be big for the room and the scale that you're working with. So you wanna make sure you keep it in proportion. And the last thing that I would think is absolutely mandatory for most rooms are those lamps. So you may have overhead lighting, which is fine when you want a lot of bright light, but you still need lamps to help concrete the room and to help your horizontal lines. And what I mean by horizontal lines is your sofa is gonna have a back that's this flat. You have the floor, you have the sofa, and the lamps actually raise that horizontal line to give you more impact in the room. 
So keep in mind, the most important three accessories that I can recommend to you is your rugs, your lamp, and your wall art. So in all my years of experience, one of the things that is asked most of me is, why do I need accessories? Well, the funny thing is, is your room is not complete without them. Think of yourself going out, you're going out to a really nice dinner and you need to wear a black tie. It's a black tie affair, right? You wouldn't leave home without your tie. You wouldn't leave home without your belt. You are accessorizing yourself every single day. Your accessories for your home do the exact same thing. They make statements about you and they make your room feel more cozy. Right? So if I was to walk into a room and you have beautiful new hardwood floors and you have a wonderful leather sofa and a wonderful leather chair and that's it, your room won't seem finished. So that same leather chair and sofa is going to look so much better when it has an area rug to bring some pattern to the room, to bring some life to the room. Then once again, right above the solid leather sofa, you need a piece of art that's going to complement the rug and the rug's going to complement the art. Now all of a sudden you're creating this space, you're creating this room that tells stories. So I want you to think back and I want you to think back of your teenage room. Did you decorate your room? You betcha. You put posters on the wall, you had a cork board up there. If you were into sports, you had all your sports trophies out to show them off. You accessorized when you were young. So why do so many people fear accessories now when they have their own home to accessorize everywhere? I really believe that it's because you don't know necessarily what you want to do and you don't know how it's going to look. So I think there's a little bit of fear in how do I accessorize and how do I make it look good? And I think that the last time you went over to mom's house and you saw how mom accessorized, you don't want to do anything like mom did, right? You want to make it your own and you aren't quite sure how to go about doing that. You can come in and you can work with a designer who can help you facilitate putting accessories in your room so everything is very color coordinated and most good designers will ask you what do you already have that you love that we can blend into this room it's amazing how many pieces are passed down and people just don't know what to do with them well that's where a designer comes into play because she can not only take that sewing machine and make this really great corner that it looks like it's there on purpose and that it's part of the room and it's not just stuck over on the wall with nothing to do. The other thing is, is you can start playing with accessories yourself. You, what you really wanna do is you wanna remember three rules. You wanna make sure that the size is correct of where you're putting it, whether it's the size of the lamp you don't want your lamp as short as your sofa arm, you want it above the sofa arm. Whether it's your wall art, okay? Either you need something big enough that's gonna take up the wall for the sofa, or you're gonna wanna do little pieces of art to make a collage that's still gonna take up that same portion. The other thing you wanna look at is your colors. Are your colors working together? So if your rug has a little red in it, Make sure your wall art has a little red in it. Make sure those accent pillows have a little red in it. Once you repeat that color three times in the room, you've got it right. So where do you start? That's a great question. Where do you start with buying accessories and getting your room done right? So the first place you can start is you can always set up an appointment at Furniture Fair and come and meet with one of our designers. Better yet, if you have a lot of rooms to do, have one of us come out. We'll come out, we'll take pictures, we'll see what we're working with, and then we can help put those accessories together so they're gonna flow throughout the whole house and not just in one room. That way you'll be able to use someone else's eye to tell you, is that gonna be in the right proportion? Is that gonna be the right size? Is that the right color? So feel free to pop in here, whether it's by appointment, whether you just come into the store, or go online and get that schedule. From there, there's still gonna be things that you're gonna to wanna to find, those little treasures. And that's where you can either go antiquing, you can look at some DIY videos. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can get started. 
I would just highly recommend you start with those bigger pieces, which once again is your rugs, your wall art, and your lamps. So just like with your furniture, have some fun, get a little creative, and go out there and let's accessorize.